How many times in your life have you been disappointed when things didn't go the way you expected? Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey, and as we get started, go ahead and click the subscribe button that you'll see right here so you can get all the latest content as soon as it's published. Go ahead and do that now. I want to say to you, Happy Valentine's Day. In the United States, Valentine's Day is the day that we're meant to just celebrate love. But for many of us, we spend the day either looking for love or looking for the way that love is expressed to us. So we're looking at whether or not we get the card we expected or the, or the flowers we wanted or the dinner out that we wanted or expressions of love or are we getting what we wanted. Or, as I've experienced in years when I was single, it's a painful day because I had found myself looking at all those couples who were holding hands or out to dinner or looking in each other's eyes and I didn't have that. And so it was a day to just try to get by that day and not try to feel as much pain about it. There's another way to have Valentine's Day. And I found that way. And over the many, many years, even when I'm in a wonderful marriage, this is my practice for how, no matter what, to have a great Valentine's Day. Number one, know that there's a difference between desire and expectation. So you can desire to have the love in your life. You can desire that the love in the life, your life that you have now, that, that that relationship grow deeper and become more expansive. But let your expectation be that Valentine's Day is not about getting love. Valentine's Day, for a great Valentine's Day, shift your desire to a desire to give more love. That Valentine's Day is a way for us to turn up the volume on our own expressions of love to people, situations, causes that we care about. You have the total ability, we all do, we don't exercise it that often, you have the total ability to choose and create your best Valentine's Day ever. So how you do that? You shift your attention from get to give. Every time your mind wants to go think about what you're not getting, say, my Valentine's Day this year is all about giving. And something almost magical happens when we shift our attention from get to give. And number three, when you find yourself just drifting off a bit and looking around and looking at what you might be missing or you thought your partner was going to do something more or they got busy that day or whatever it is that would leave you feeling contractive about Valentine's Day, you don't have that love of your life or the love of your life isn't, it's not working out the way you wanted, for a moment, take a deep breath. You notice that contractive thought or feeling, you take a deep breath and you noticed that the infinite would give you as much breath as you were willing to take in in that moment. You're in a sea of love. Every single one of us is. We didn't create ourselves. We're, we can't even make our heart beat one time. There's something beautiful and sacred happening with each one of us. It's this thing called life. And the name of this life, it speaks to us in the language of love. So we would all love to have life, love in our lives that comes towards us, but today make the love in your life moving through you drawing from that source, making phone calls, perhaps you sent some cards, of appreciation, moments where someone made a difference in your life. Think about what you can do throughout the day to be the person who brings love. Because what you bring, that vibration, is what you live in. This can be your most loving Valentine's Day in the history of all Valentine's Days, when we switch from getting love to giving love. So from my heart to yours, Happy, happy Valentine's Day.